As the flow of traffic intensifies at morning, midday, and evening rush hours, scores of school children flood the sidewalks and roadways, scampering off back and forth between school and home. And, too often, inattentive drivers and motorists do not see them. A total of 14 school children have been victims of road traffic fatalities since 2018, and the Ministry of Economic Development is determined to reduce that to zero. That's the aim of the CDB-funded road safety project to create safe school zones with adequate signage and pedestrian walks in place. Well, the most important part of this project, you know, is with the main uh, outcome is to save lives and especially to save the lives of our children. Um, historically, it has shown that in the last five years, um, a total of 14 great minds were lost, um, six of which are females and eight boys, um, school students. And so um, there is an effort, a collaborative effort within the government of Belize, um, along with the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Transport, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Economic Development, to try to put some projects and pilot projects to improve the safety measures for children and of course, you know, uh, for every citizen of our country. It was selected based on the, there was a study that was done to find out the areas that had the largest or the highest amount of um, uh, traffic. And it was identified, well, first of all, the study was done between Belize City and Corozal Town. And in a period here within uh, 2.55 p.m. to 3.25 p.m., just 30 minutes span, we were able to identify that right in front of the school, we had a little bit over 400 vehicles that tra traversed this area. And then the kids have to cross the, the, the road, you know, and then you have to deal with 400 vehicles within 30 minutes span. And, and based on that data that the, this school had the highest um, amount of vehicles trafficking within that 30 minute span, then that's how um, it was identified. Area representative Karim Musa says that there is a high concentration of traffic within the school area, which is why the implementation of a crosswalk for students will place teachers and parents a bit more at ease when children are transitioning to and from school. I fully embrace and I welcome this uh, safe school zone project that is implemented uh, by various ministries in collaboration with yours out of the Netherlands. Um, and I would want to say that those motorists who are against this project or any project of this kind, they perhaps do not have a child that attends this school or attends Canaan or any school for that matter in this vicinity. And so we have to be more mindful as motorists, not because you don't have a child at this particular school, means that you should find it as some sort of an inconvenience. Uh, we have seen where we've lost so many young lives, as the CEO pointed out in his presentation, 14 lives, 14 very young lives were lost as a result of road traffic accidents. And we are taking a proactive stance, uh, step so as to ensure that none of those accidents happen uh, within this particular corridor. As you know, it's very trafficked uh, since it runs parallel uh, to the Philip Golson Highway. And it's absolutely essential given uh, the nature of this location and the number of vehicles that pass through here each day that we protect our young children and ensure that we provide the most safe uh, environment for them when they are going home or when they're coming to school? Well, the most important part of this project, you know, is with the main uh, outcome is to save lives and especially to save the lives of our children. Um, historically, it has shown that in the last five years, um, a total of 14 great minds were lost, um, six of which are females and eight boys, um, school students. And so um, there is an effort, a collaborative effort within the government of Belize, um, along with the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Transport, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Economic Development, to try to put some projects and pilot projects to improve the 
safety measures for children and of course, you know, uh, for every citizen of our country. With a total of 242 students to look out for at her school, Principal Arthur says that this project plays an important role in ensuring student safety outside of the compound. Here at Butnerwood Bay, as you might notice, we are right in front of the road, which means it puts our students at risk. At risk whenever they have to travel to and for, um, when going, when coming or going to school, right? Um, we really had a need for some form of intervention because there has been some close incidences right in front of this school. As was mentioned during my speech, we did have four years ago when a parent came to pick up her child's report, she was knocked right off the pedestrian crossing, right? And it was a hit, hit and run. Um, fortunately for that parent, she just rolled and it wasn't any serious injury. But it could happen to any of our students because the, the, the drivers we notice, especially when they're in a rush, rush they're not um, respecting the, the, the pedestrians that are using the cross. So far, you might notice that they have put up signs, signs that we expect drivers to respect. They have um, put in two additional bumps, speed bumps, and these bumps are actually to slow down the traffic, giving the students ample time to use the pedestrian crossing. Um, they have also put up poles. The purpose of these poles are to create a walking space that students can walk safely without um, being at risk of being hit by vehicles because most of the times the vehicles would actually park along this side of the road um, and students would have to walk outside of these vehicles which takes them into the traffic. Jo Marie Lanza, 7 News.